It is well known that one of the biggest problems of Notion is its absence of recurring tasks. So if we want this feature to work in this app, we'll have to get a little bit creative. So this is what we are going to be building in today's video, recurring task in Notion. If you're new here, my name is Daniel, former engineer now running an online course creation agency and also founder of the Notion Academy, where we teach people how to build systems in Notion. Okay, so with that intro out of the way, let's start building the system. Here we are in my task database. This can be any task database. And for this, we are gonna need three different properties. The first one is going to be the date in which we are going to do the recurring tasks for the first time. And this is going to be a date property. Second, another property that we are going to use to say the periodicity of this task. So we have for day, for week, for month, for quarter, and for year. Next is going to be a formula that is going to be calculating automatically when is the next day that we need to do this task. So this, this formula, I'm going to copy it because it's quite long, but don't worry because I'm gonna leave it in the description of the video. And then another formula that is just going to be a checkbox. And this checkbox is going to be ticked whenever we have to do this task. Okay, so what this formula is doing, whenever this next is today, so equals today date, this is going to get checked. And this is going to be very useful for the filters that we are gonna use now. So let's put an example. Let's say in this task, the first day that we want to do it is one week ago for the sake of this demonstration on the 19th. And then we wanna do it every week. So therefore we will have to do it also today. So you can see that the next is 26 and today is 26 and this checkbox is marked. But let's say that we change this for a month. So he is going to tell me that the next time that I have to do this task is December 19. So it's one month apart and the same for the rest of them. So now, as you may have noticed, my way of building systems in Notion is to have single entry points to each of the databases. So this means that we are going to be creating one new view for the task database whose sole purpose is going to be to input recurring tasks in our system. So I'm going to go to my dashboard and add new task page. So here I'm going to create a link database to the task database. And I'm going to remove all the properties that I don't need. And now I'm going to filter out all those that every is empty because I want that whenever I add a new task, this task gets filtered out. So this link database is always empty. But if I do so, you will see that all the tasks that I have before, every is always empty. So then I will need to add a new property to distinguish which task is recurring and which task is not. So for this, I'm going to add a new property, recurring, and this can be a checkbox. I will hide this checkbox because with this filter, I'm going to check it automatically. You see, if you don't remember, whenever we add a filter in a link database and we add a new entry, that new entry is going to respect this filter. So therefore, everything that I add from this database, the recurring is always going to be ticked automatically. And now we can filter out by every. Every is empty. And let's also put that the status is not started. So automatically, this is also fulfilled. So that's it. If we want to add a recurring task. Now, the first day that I want to do this, so to put the same example on the 19, and then every week. And that's it. It's going to be filtered out. Finally, the last addition that I'm going to make to this system is, well, as you know, we have a today page, which is going to tell us everything that we need to do in this very day. 
So I'm going to add a new part in which we are going to be able to see those recurring tasks that are for today. And this, this, since I just need the title of the task, I'm going to create a list view and filter by those that are recurring and that are pending today. And you see that this recurring task that we added whose first day was the week before and the periodicity was weekly is due for today so that's why we can see it over here now to make it a little bit more beautiful we can add some titles so i hope this was very clear it's a very simple system to use and in fact one of my favorites because one is set up everything is always automatic the only con that i see to this system is that we don't have the possibility to check those tasks as completed because they are just going to appear in this view and that's it. Tomorrow they will not appear regardless of whether we have done the task or not. So until Notion release a proper way to do this, I'm sticking to this system. So that is it for this video guys. Hasta la próxima.